Hello, I'm Penelope. I'm really not good at videoing myself, especially not getting eye contact, so sorry about that. But I've really enjoyed everyone else's videos in this series. They've all been great and thought provoking, and I'm so grateful to everyone, especially to Clint for organising it. Anyway, the lectionary, as you may know, is a cycle of Bible readings arranged by the Church of England to give you three different passages for each day, from which I've had to choose one. It's not always easy to see what the three have in common with each other, or what links them to yesterday or to tomorrow. And when I looked at the passages for 11th March, I really thought I'd drawn the short straw. None of them were easy, cheery or comfortable. So bear in mind that I had to choose one. It's from the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 7 verses 23 to 28 and I'm reading from the Revised Standard Version. But this command I gave them, Obey my voice and I will be your God and you shall be my people, and walk in all the way that I command you, that it may be well with you. But they did not obey or incline their ear, but walked in their own counsels and the stubbornness of their evil hearts, and went backward and not forward. From the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt to this day, I have persistently sent all my servants the prophets to them, day after day, yet they did not listen to me, or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. So you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not listen to you. You shall call to them, but they will not answer you. And you shall say to them, This is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God, and did not accept discipline. Truth has perished. It is cut off from their lips. Truth has perished. Does that sound familiar? Basically, the Lord through Jeremiah is telling his people Israel that they've sinned. Their parents disobeyed him in the past. He sent prophets to guide them. They're still disobedient. This is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God. And of course, it isn't just them, Israel. We may as well say, this is the nation, Britain, that disobeyed the voice of the Lord. This is the church, the C of E. That disobeyed the voice of the Lord. This is the town, Nottingham. This is the person, me. It's a call to repentance and Lent is traditionally a time for repentance. Jesus began his ministry with the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Repentance isn't just about saying sorry, which can be insincere, or making a U-turn, which you could do for many reasons. It also doesn't have to mean a radical change that rejects your whole previous life, although it may. Repentance can be as small as acknowledging, I gave my spouse a grumpy look this morning. I spend too much time ranting about foreign politicians. I cheated in the online quiz. As long as you say, I'm sorry, help me to do not, not to do that again, because we need help. Two more points about repentance. The first is that our nation and our church have in the past done terrible things. Everyone knows this. If we want anyone outside the church to listen to what we have to say, we need to acknowledge that we are sorry. Only if people see that as individuals and as churches, we're sorry for what we've done wrong, we know we go on doing things wrong, and we, and we go on being sorry, will they let us tactfully suggest that they too need to change. Secondly, we know that God loves us. Jesus died for us and God loves us. As Paul says, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing. So we're loved. We're sitting in a safe and secure place with God our parent, and that is a good place from which we can, when necessary, repent. So let's pray. The prayer I'm using is from the Church of England Book of Common Worship. It's one of the prayers suggested for the third Sunday in Lent. Merciful God, grant your people grace to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh and the devil, and with pure hearts and minds to follow you, the only God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.